Do you know what happens when you safely remove the USB stick from the computer? Let's find out. For this purpose, I'm going to be using this little USB tester. This is kind of like a watt meter for your USB devices. It lets you measure the current voltage and the consumed energy from any of your USB devices. So we're going to be using this to see what's happening when we safely disconnect the USB stick from the computer. So when you plug in the USB stick to the computer, what happens is it actually supplies power to the USB stick. And some of the USB sticks that have LEDs on, you can see that the LEDs start to flash or it may be just illuminated. It depends what USB stick you have. But anyway, there is power going to that USB stick. And even when it's idling, when it's not transferring any files, it's still connected to the computer and there is still power going to this USB stick. And if you safely remove it, it actually cuts down the power to the USB stick. So basically it unplugs it and it's just connected there physically. So it's physically still connected, but electrically it's disconnected, which in its turn, making sure that all the processes are shut down on the USB stick, moving files in the memory, the controller stops working. So everything is stopped before you actually remove it. If for example, you don't do that, then the power is still going to the USB stick. And when you remove it, there could be still some processes going on in the USB stick and that could cause it to fail. And I actually have another video about the USB stick, which has failed. That wasn't even recognized by Windows at all. Like you could plug it into the computer and it's not visible. So basically the USB stick was useless because it wasn't working. It was not recognized by any operating system, not just Windows, but the computer just wouldn't see it. And what happened is it was probably just pulled out the computer and the firmware got messed up on the USB stick because USB stick consists of several parts such as memory, controller and other electronic parts. And the firmware could get messed up if you just yank it from the USB port without safely removing it or rejecting it and it could just get destroyed. So in case that has happened to you, I actually have a video how to fix it. And that video might help you to fix it, but it's not guaranteed because there's different USB sticks and some of them are easier to fix than other and depending if you can find the proper firmware for your USB stick. But anyway, I'm just going to put a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. And now you know what happens when you safely remove the USB stick from your computer and what would happen if you don't do that. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos. And if you still have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can, but this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.